During World War II, I had some friends who took off on a bombing mission. And when they got upstairs, they had an engine failure. So they had to get back down on the runway, and they finally came in and made a, a wheel-up landing, a crash landing. And as they came in, they skidded along, and uh, one of the wings hit a revetment. And when it did, the plane kept skidding down the runway, but there was an explosion, and the plane caught fire. Of course, we all dashed down there to try to get to them. And no one could get close. That's the hottest fire I've ever seen. You could only get within about 100 yards of it without being singed. And a few people tried to even get closer, and they had their hair burned right off of their eyebrows and their head and so on. But the reason everyone tried to get to them and help them is because I can still hear it. I'm sure everyone who's still alive can. You could hear them scream for a half a mile. It's the most awful thing I've ever heard in my life. Here were these friends. They weren't dead. They were very much alive. And they were, in, they were trapped inside of that plane, and they were burning. And they were screaming and screaming and screaming. And about the only thing you could understand is they just screamed and begged. They stayed alive for about a minute and a half. They just begged someone to shoot them. It was so horrible. Now, eternity is an awful long time. And to spend eternity in the lake of fire, well, there's no excuse for it. The only reason anyone ever will is because they have rejected Christ as Savior. 